You world famous, boy. Yeah, they had the people, boy. Let it work. Tell us they had the people. Quit being, quit being self-centered. You get one line cut, now you you think you're the best thing ever. Yeah, he's a happy baby. He got so naked. With the velvet coat action going. What are you doing, boy? Quit showing people your butt. Yeah. What do you mean the Bucks are gonna beat me now that they got Damian Lillard? Whose side are you on, boy? This is the Spurs house. Right, Lady Wolf? Yeah, the Spurs house. Yeah, so I thought Lady Wolf. Yeah. Y'all. Ain't that happy, baby? He's getting used to his new cut. And he, all the, the girl cats won't quit blowing up his phone. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, say <sighs> does that star spangle <sighs> yet The real question is, does anybody in Portland put their hand over their heart? <laughs> Bunch of fucking... I can't say it. And that was our national anthem performed by the talented... Good job, Stella Portland. Portland. Wasting that, another good player's whole career. Woo! <laughs> you guys got the shittiest general manager in front office in the NBA. You had a, a, a generational score in Damian Lillard and you fucked it up. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. You're gonna put Drew Holiday through pure agony and then trade him. You guys are rebuilding, baby. Yeah, okay. Just say you don't know what you're doing. Y'all ain't been a good team since the Lakers dunked on your head. Shaq and Kobe. LaMarcus left y'all ass. Damien left y'all asses. for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. This is Kevin You guys will be lucky to be 13 and 33, 47 games in. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. With your Scoot Hendersons and your DeAndre Aytons. For those who would tell players to shut up and dribble. Fuck out of here. He says, in 1963, Bill Russell was MVP. Right, boy. Hate on Portland with Lady Wolf and Papa. Dr. King's I have Lady Wolf, say something bad about the players. Yeah. Russell to our modern players. Kevin? That's a great story, DA. Thanks. And a look at the starters for San Antonio. We've got Fred Van Vliet. Andre Drummond is out there. Y'all literally made the team worse every year you had Damian Lillard. And for the Trailblazers, Grant is out there with the fire whole freaking front office. Then there's Matisse Thibel. And it's Henderson. And your owner, because now he's apparently a weirdo too. Season right in the thick of things. What is your main concern if you're a player playing at this particular portion of the You know what they told him? Cause now he he came out and said everything. To where the NBA, if the, if the NBA had any balls, they would find Portland so hard that Portland would never do that shit again, and no other team would ever do that shit again. They they made him lie last year and say that he had a hip injury, so they could get a higher pick if they lost more games toward the end of the season. And then they got you know the third pick and got this Scoot Henderson dude. But it's like y'all blatantly lied to the NBA. And the NBA should go in there and just take all your picks for 20 years. <laughs> then what? <laughs> How are you going to rebuild then, Portland? If the NBA just takes your next 20 years of draft picks. <laughs> That's what y'all should get. Terrible.
terrible. Terrible ass team. Your main concern is staying focused. Like every trade they ever made during the whole time they had Damian Lillard made them worse. They had CJ McCollum, they traded him. Y'all just suck. Y'all let y'all let Aldridge leave for nothing. You got a little bit for Dame, but not 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 nothing amazing. And it's the Spurs ball. Last time they met was in San Antonio. Well, they they coasted. Yeah, we roasting. We're roasting the Blazers, but they honestly deserve it. And if they can keep that same physicality, you have to think they'll be in a good position to grab another win here. Now, here's Grant. Grant Ingram missing his last shot. On the top of the key, it's Drummond with the rebound. And it's Murray penetrating. Ingram. And slammed up by Ingram. Murray is capable of getting double-digit assists anytime he's on the floor because he is an unselfish point guard. And so the ball's out of bounds. Ingram touched it last. Freaking unethical. Just lose games on purpose. You're making millions on millions of dollars. And you want to tank to get a okay player. Like Scoot Henderson's going to change the world. Like, come on, man. A three ball. Spends just as much time working on his defense. Paid off from Murray right there. That one's a miss. His third shot of the game. He's made one of them. And it's Drummond with the jam. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. Yeah, Josh Hart, you traded him away. Outside yeah, holiday. Gary Trent, you traded him away. Misses like, three. Fire your GM. Fire your president of basketball operations. And it's the fire everybody that works for you right now. Because they don't know what the hell they're doing. Y'all gave Jeremy Grant five years, $3,000 million. Y'all like, don't know what the fuck you're doing. Now defended by Grant, Murray kicks to Drummond. Murray, the pass to Drummond. Back to Murray. Why are y'all playing defense like you give a shit? And that one drops. And Greg, you can see it. Murray has really improved his passing. Hey, Tyus, get out there. Great sense of the court and spacing. Reads defense as well and can direct his teammates. Could see him being an elite passer in no time. Just haven't found their offensive footing yet. Only managing to sink one of their first five shots. Totally unselfish play there from Aiden. Sends the ball to someone with a wide open look. Now here's Murray. What a tremendous game he played against the Clippers. And man, has DeJounte Murray Boston Richard into a very special player or what? He's been terrific. And this has happened because he's embraced having more responsibility. The minute you accept being a leader, the future becomes bright. The Spurs making a switch here. Collins has checked in. It ended in the bubble, but how about the Spurs playoff streak? 22 consecutive seasons, Greg, coming to an end. Kevin, making it every year from 1998 to 2019, winning five titles over that span, and having the same head coach certainly helped that streak. So did having, though, a couple Hall of Fame. First personal foul, second team foul. Here's Ingram. I'll tell you what, Aiden is a very good defender. Moves his feet well and has the length to alter shots. And slam dunk by Ingram. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Yeah, boo boo. So it's the Spurs now. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Ingram's got six. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. And slammed up by Ingram. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. Brooks with no one around. Good, and the time assist out, goes out. to Murray. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for the Spurs. So timeout called here. The first for Portland. Okay, the plan is the rest of our guys in this game, other than Ingram, just because 
he won't win MVP if I rest him. But he, he probably won't play as many minutes as I usually play him once he gets to high points. Here's Ingram. Some solid defense from Grant. The Drummond's got a lot of wear and tear, and so does Murray. Oh, we got some big games coming up. We got the Lakers and the Clippers again. Doesn't get it to drop for him. So and let's be honest, Portland's trash. <laughs> they were trash with Dame, and they don't even have him now. So. <laughs> before they were able to pull it out in overtime. Felt great about their chances in overtime. It took a little extra, but they were able to get it done. Right. And here is Grant. After Dylan Brooks was able to Yeah, get Jeremy through. Grant. Credit to him for trying to get that three right back. Enjoy Missed your money, shot. bro. That's a fighter's mentality. And here's Ingram. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> and again, it's the Spurs from deep. The defense DeAndre, slow. and maybe he'll get better there. I'm not worried about Scoot Henderson. I don't know anything about Scoot Henderson. Van Vliet with it. Now defended by Grant. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the got Matisse Thibel, the, 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 the superstar you never knew about on the Sixers. <laughs> you got freaking Anthony Simons. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Fantastic string of games. If I read you the whole roster on the Blazers, you'd be like, yeah, fire that dude. <laughs> well, it's not often you see someone be this impactful. Yeah, like every year the team got worse. Like why do you still have a job if you're the GM? Like but you can bet his coach and teammates know that he's been Like that either tells you the team doesn't care about winning or the president of basketball operations, which is essentially the basketball team, doesn't care about winning because they're they're the boss of the GM can fire the coach, the GM can fire pretty much anybody they want, and trade whoever they want, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So it tells you the owners doesn't give a shit. The leader of basketball operations doesn't give a shit. And apparently someone someone tries to say the same stuff I'm saying. Like fire the GM, and then someone told them like it's not their fault; it's the president of basketball operations' fault. So like, okay, fire them. <laughs> so and guess who fires the president of basketball operations? The owner. So if the owner is not firing them, guess what? The owner doesn't care. So then you have a whole team that doesn't care about winning. All they care about is money. And every NBA team cares about money, but. An exceptional shot maker from outside. If you're not actually trying to win, that's borderline fraud. Definitely unethical. It's not even a subjective. It's just objectively unethical. In the world, that's what made Sharp the seventh overall pick in a fairly deep draft. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. I mean, this is just ridiculous. David Nawaba, like, look, look at this dude. How many teams this dude's been on? Then you got Matisse Thibel, right? The goat of the Sixers with his five points a game. <laughs> well, yeah, they're all NBA players, sure. But, I mean, holy shit. I don't even know who any of these dudes are. They're all, like, rookies. It's like, just say you're not trying to win games. <laughs> And, and then Damien is the bad guy for one off this shitty-ass team. And yeah, he signed the contract, I get it. But they used to actually have a decent team. And they actually were a threat some years. But then y'all traded literally every good player you had. And nobody really questioned it. <laughs> y'all down 21 in the first quarter. Y'all were down 20 before the trade. Like... Hello. Here's Van Vliet. Waba with the rebound. If I was DeAndre and if I was anyone that went to the Blazers, I wouldn't want to be there. Good in the 
this goes to Murray. Six points for Shaden Sharp. Great at creating shots. Sharp did it there with that catch and shoot. Here's Ingram. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution. But teams that so actually far. care about winning would never still have these same people running the team. And that outstanding drive never, ever, ever. To you by Mobile One. And despite the double-digit lead, still in attack mode, getting their feet wet there in the paint. Young big men, though, often struggle to find consistency. But you look at Aiden's first four seasons, the numbers are almost identical year to year. Now here's a 20-point game for him. The only way I can see eight the one to be there is maybe he can, like, dominate. The paint. And for Aiden, the numbers are impressive but. indeed, averaging a double-double every season. And he's got all the tools. But you really want to play on a team that's going to win maybe 20 games? And they've been working on his shooting range to open up the lane a bit more. you got to love his I mean, hustle. Good grief. Defense, no time to react. And all of a sudden, that man was just on the other end. Wow. While he moved by Ingram, able to come up with the foul and get that shot in the air. So he gets them both. And you look at the way Ingram can get off a shot. When he gets to his spots, there's just no stopping him. Very few players can create like he can. And it's Simons missing. Spurs leading by 21. Jones finds Ingram. Murray with the defensive effort. Ingram at the elbow. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. That free throw missing. Right. Yeah, a lot of whistles here early as well as foul trouble starting to be an issue. And he's good on the second. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball. Ingram with the steal. For the finish. And slam dunk by Ingram. And how about the huge wingspan of Ingram? Really causing the opposition a number of problems. Here's Sharp. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to go on Tyus Jones. The Trailblazers shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Yeah, looking over their percentage on the season, I think they will be thrilled with the number in terms of their free throw percentage, 79. Now here's Ingram. He's got 20. And for another field goal, a sublime 9 of 14 on the night. Uh, he's been locked all the way in from the floor, and he's the number one reason why they're winning right now. Trailblazers follow tomorrow. First, the Spurs have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. At the line for the Spurs, and he knocks down the first one. Grant, he's checked in for David Mwaba. You doing, boy? So he hits one of two from the strike. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. The Trailblazers have gone six of eight from the free throw line tonight. And so he hits both. And so it's Ingram who brings up the ball for San Antonio. Oh my wow. goodness, what a play. Oh my. One of the most explosive young bigs we have. Collins quick off the floor and gets creative at the rim. No good from Grant. Defense pulled out all the stops to shut him down there. One second left and slam dunk by Ingram. Really like that work there in the paint. He has really established a low post presence. Brandon Ingram, he's been the guy making things happen for the San Antonio Spurs. All right. I got 46 points. Quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And, you know, the Spurs have been rolling right along. <laughs> I'm just Evan out there. Evan's been fun, man. They are playing for one another and focusing on making winning plays. You love to see it. On the court right now for the Spurs. They've got Brooks. Brandon Ingram's out there with Collins. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. And it's and like, they're not even a team that's trying to get better. Like, there's some teams that have a bunch of young talent that are trying to figure out a mix that works. Or they're actually trying to win games. Or let their players get better. What has Portland been doing for the last six years? 
Oh, but now they're suddenly they want to build their young Outside core. Like, well, you don't, y'all don't even have a core. Right. <laughs> Ingram against Grant, and that one's good. Ingram. Like, I've heard it said, Greg, a coach can't give you confidence, but they can take it away. Chauncey Phillips, I feel bad for him. Well, players at this level are naturally confident, but when coaches are always... Then they'll probably fire him. Like, that makes any damn sense. You need to fire the damn GM and president of basketball operations and freaking sell the team. With an update from the sidelines, let's check in. Y'all ain't trying to win. Thanks very much. Make the NBA look bad. But Gordon Hayward was a two-time Indiana State singles champion in tennis. He says, in high school, I was better at tennis than basketball, but I've always loved hoops more. Thankfully, I was able to grow throughout high school to get to the frame I have now. He has certainly filled out in the NBA. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, he sure has. He's been a terrific player to watch and follow. The injury is significant, but he continues on. David, thanks. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. And the basket by Jones. Boy, it's a joy to watch Ingram as he's developed. One of the hardest working players in the game. Henderson passes to Grant. And the dunk by Grant. Man, that is first class right there. Can you believe that dunk? I'm not sure, Greg, I can. Holiday dishes to Henderson. Back to Holiday. And the three off target. Yeah, they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. For his position, DeAndre Ayton is exceptionally well equipped. Yeah, are you talking about those long arms, that seven foot six wingspan? Yeah, those will help you knock away a few shots or pluck down a few rebounds out of the air. That is no question. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Brooks. Portland's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. Now a timeout called by Portland. And now a moment to check out the leaders in the all-star voting. Balloting underway. And this is really a fun time of year. You're starting to see which players are going to be in the running to make the all-star team. You take a look at Aiton. He's pulled in a lot of votes. Nearly enough, in fact, to break into the top ten in the Western Conference. Yeah, and probably wishing he was a little higher on that list, but there's just too many other guys also having fantastic seasons. A great All-Star weekend it'll be. We'll keep you updated as we get closer. Henderson passes to Holiday. Fires from 18, and out of bounds as the Spurs. Oh, Jesus. And checking out some numbers for Anthony Simons. Yeah, okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Those are numbers. Seven times tonight, They're not letters. <laughs> Jones kicks to Fournier for three. Hayward. Shit. Rebound by the Trailblazers. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. Yeah, for that loss, you can credit their defense or lack thereof. Too many breakdowns on that end of the floor. Some of it was solid shooting from their opponent, but they didn't have any teeth with their defense. Can you hear me, Grant, the $25 million man. And, you know, with more responsibility... Oh, yeah, that contract looks great now. ...dynamic two-way threat who <laughs> wants to continue to get better. Jeez. That's like when Lakers gave a little out dang freaking 20 million. Like, what the fuck were y'all thinking? And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. Here's Ingram. Nails the baby hook. Ingram's got 30 points. He's been dominant all game long. Nobody on the floor can stop him. And look, let's just say he knows it. Henderson kicks to Grant. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That's his fifth foul. You know what? Tried to step in. And Grant by the foul. Didn't get there quick enough. David Nwaba has checked in for the Trailblazers. David Nwaba. So it's Portland now. Thibault on the wing. Oh no, Thibault. Please, please don't. Four on the shot clock. Releases. Grant. That's good, good job, Jeremy. 
Grinch got two I don't know if you can make that or not. And we've really seen Grant evolve the scoring Shit. ability. He's becoming a guy who can easily create his own offense. The shape drives to the hoop. And the young fella busts out the slick move inside to get open for the jam. Greg, that was sick and slick. The D had no chance. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. To the middle, here's Grant and the dunk by Grant. You know what? A lot of people will say Grant's a glue guy. But I tell you, he doesn't need any glue tonight. He is doing this all by himself. Three-pointer, Hayward. The rebound by Grant. And here's Grant. He'll bring it up for Portland. Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. Waba gets the bucket. And Grant's such a versatile player. He can do a little bit of everything, including setting up his teammates. It's Fournier on the wing. Nwaba defending. And he comes Ooh, to Evan. And how about that? What a Prince Cyclone. Yeah, you you got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. The Trailblazers have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. Really flowing here. There is Henderson. Collins oh, man. Wins. So close. Collins has got six rebounds in the game. In the corner, it's Hayward. Dishes it to Collins. Jones from outside. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. A big man who does a little bit of everything. Collins' team first attitude shining through with that terrific pass. San Antonio's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. Portland's gone 2 for 5 from three-point land since the end of the first. Plenty of daylight on that shooting. Waba's got four points this quarter. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. With the crossover, no good from Grant. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. Ingram drawing the double team. Stolen by Henderson. Oh, and, so, and then Henderson with the jam. Good job getting the ball and completing that play. And this is why turnovers give coaches and fans gray hairs. Ingram outside. Hayward on the wing. Back to Ingram. Shoots over Grant. And that one's good, Ingram. Ingram's got 34 points. This man is on fire. His team is winning, and it doesn't get better than that. Pass to Aiton. Buries it down low. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. The three. He doesn't hit that one. So the trailblazers will take it the other way. And here's Ingram from the arc. And there's the call on John Collins. That is his first foul of the game. And the Spurs making a change here. Moses checked in. <laughs> the Trailblazers shooting for the game. <laughs> Thank you for passing right to me. And Fournier kicks to Rose. Oh, by the come on, bro. Murray outside. There's three pointers off the mark. San Antonio by the ball. Three. Just, just Hayward do layups. To Ingram. <laughs> More shots. <laughs> You're going good. Collins in the post. Aiton's there. For three, Ingram. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got rebound number five here tonight. And we haven't seen them be quite as aggressive driving the basketball, settling far too much for jumpers. Okay, now I think he's starting to get in his own head right now. Maybe he's overthinking things a little bit, and as a result, he's just been off. And Fournier kicks to Ingram. Over Murray. Collins passes to Ingram. Over Sharp. And it's Ingram missing. <laughs> and this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. The Trailblazers have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. We throw good, Simon. Yeah. 
Portland's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter, just two of six from long range. And the call will be against Fournier. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. And the first one at the line is good. At the line for Portland. Sharp. And so he makes both from the line. 23 seconds left to play in the first half. Here's Ingram, rejected by Murray. And he recovers it. Collins kicks to Hayward. San Antonio again missing. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. <laughs> and that's it for him. He's fouled out. Not only that, we are in the bonus and we'll have to go to the line for two. Hey guys, this is where their depth really comes into play. They, they've got such talent at that position. They'd love to have him out there, but they won't suffer much of a drop off. And finish off by Rhodes. And guys, we talk all the time about making the extra pass. Clark there proving how important that concept is. And so it's San Antonio closing out the quarter with a 20. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back. Hey, everybody. Always a fascinating story. Our first order of business. Let's catch you up on some trades around the league. Do you two think you'd be any good in the GMC? Oh, Making yeah. trade moves? Oh, oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'll be good at that. I'm good at reaching. I wonder why they're showing it that way. Lillard did not go to the side. Yeah, right. Have you ever been able to reach across the table with those little arms? An expression shot. It's just an expression. Come on, 2K. All right, and shifting gears to our current matchup, it's been a rough one so far for the Trailblazers. They need to give more energy and effort on the boards. Rebounding Delta has been one of the main issues for them. Probably they're getting bullied. I'm not sure if they have the players to change that. And that concludes halftime. Now. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. First ball starts the second half. Let's hear it for your trail. And here's Hayward. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Jeremy Grant is out there with Matisse Thibel. Then it's DeAndre Ayton. Then it's Holiday, and it's Henderson in at the point guard position. So that's who Chauncey Billups starts the second half with. Henderson, no good. Jesus. San Antonio leading by 23. And, and Collins is shown to be a game changer on the floor. The, the problem for him has been staying on the floor. He has fought the injury bug his whole career. For Collins, he has yet to play close to a full slate of games, Greg, in a single season. Collins has missed time in each season he's played. He, he's young enough. A few years of good injury fortune can change the narrative. And let's just hope that's the case for his sake. Porter's checked in for the Spurs. Here's Grant. Nice D from Porter. San Antonio's gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Ayton's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Holiday. Oh, went in there and tried to power it down. But true contact. He'll head to the line. It's going to go on Otto Porter Jr. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. He's been doing really nice work at the line. 83%. Spurs making a switch here. Richardson's checked in. It's Porter. Outside. Offensive rebound. Outside Fournier. Richardson left side. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Takes a three. San Antonio again missing. Trailblazers trail by 20. Aiton in the corner. He takes it in, and Aiton throws it down. And this is what you love about Aiton. Highly skilled. He can face you up, then take you off the bounce. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks very much. Now, the Blazers missed the playoffs last season for the first time in almost a decade. Coach Billups says, it's been a lot here so far, but I just know that I'm built for this. This is what I do, and it gives me the opportunity to stand up as a man to show that I can lead. I'm ready for it. 
Kevin? I think he is. And he's embracing the challenge, which is uh, fun to watch. David, thanks. <laughs> For Portland, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. Passes to Ayton. Back to Henderson. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by Richardson. Rough start to the second half for them. Only getting one of the past four shots to fall. And there's the call on Matisse Theibel. That's his first foul. Second team foul. On defense, Portland. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. Here's Porter. Clark trying to get open. Porter can't get that one to fall. Trailblazers trail by 17. The kick out to Holiday. Offline with his three. Yeah, the offense scuffling a bit to start this second half. Only one for the first five. The shot's good from Fournier. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. It's Richardson on the wing. Outside Fournier. Here's Clark. The shot, no good. Some solid defense from eight. Henderson passes to Holiday. And it's Otto Porter with the foul. That's foul number two for him. And from College of the Pros, Richard, you played for some legendary coaches. And speaking of coaching, is that something you've ever entertained doing? I never have, and I never will. Coaching, the amount of hours that you have to spend sounds exhausting. I love my job right now, and you know why I love my job? Because I get to work with you. Oh, listen, the feeling's mutual. Here's Fournier. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Holiday looking for an opening. Three pointer. A rebound by Jesus. the Spurs. It's painful to watch this team. Fournier for three. Waba with the rebound. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. The shot by Holiday, no good. And the Ooh, well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. Yeah, ah. and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Porter. And so Fournier nails both of them. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for Portland. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And it's Moaba missing. Spurs leading by 20. Fournier goes in. Portland no good that time either. San Antonio's gone a less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Addition now to Richardson. Right side Rose. Hayward outside. And Fournier kicks to Richardson. Three-pointer, Hayward. Portland grabs the miss. Holiday's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And it's Mwaba missing. The Spurs shooting 43% from the field. The shot's good from Fournier. Fournier's got 10 points in just the second half. This quarter has been all his. I suggest they keep the ball in his hands. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Maurice checked in for the Trailblazers. And Fernie Simons comes in for Drew Holiday. Tyus Jones, he's checked in for San Antonio. And that's his fourth, and no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it this soon. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for San Antonio. Greg, when you watch and Bernie Simons play, you can see the burst he has on the ball. And that goes for him attacking the rim and rising up for a shot. Impossible to stay in front of him with that quick first step. And with his skill and athleticism, boy, the sky's the limit. Otto Porter Jr., he's checked in for Richardson. Hayward can hit. Trailblazers trail by 20. It's tipped. Three-pointer. 
second shot opportunity. And that one's good, Aiton. Aiton's got 11 points. And using that 7-5 wingspan, putting it back off the miss, one of Aiton's specialties. Outside Fournier. Launches it. No good on the shot. And the Trailblazers going the other way. And it's Otto Porter with the foul. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. It's his first trip to the line. He's knocked down three quarters of his foul shots this season, so he's right around 75%. And Portland making a change here. Sharps checked in. Richardson, he's checked in for San Antonio. Out to Hayward. Back to Richardson. Porter in the corner. Hayward from outside. Knocks down the three ball. Hayward's got himself on the board with three there. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. Porter looking it over. He kicks it to Richardson. There's the pass to Clark. That shot off. Murray with the defensive effort. Trailblazers trail by 20. Sharp the pass to Ayton. That's a six field goal today. And that makes him now six for 11. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would have the lead. Here's Richardson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. That one goes in. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. And it's Simons missing. San Antonio leading by 20. Fournier in the corner. Kicks it out to Richardson. Fournier with the ball. Out guarded by Murray. Shot clock at six. Back to Fournier. Here's Richardson. And it's Portland with the rebound. Aiton's. Sharp the pass to Simons. To the right side. Got that one from Nwaba. Nwaba has got four points now in the quarter. When he has enough space, he's more than comfortable letting it fly from outside. Porter against Murray. And that one's good by Porter. And the Spurs lead by 19. Yeah, showing he's not just a catch-and-shoot guy on the perimeter. Porter attacking. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. And the basket is good. Richardson. Richardson's got a second bucket tonight. And, and when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, and Pop Man is going for the jump. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Four foul. That one is off. So both teams making some changes here. At the line for two. And the second free throw, good. And so it's Hayward with it. He'll bring it up for the Spurs. It's an 18-point lead. On the wing, Porter. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Coming into the league, Porter didn't have that. Now, after a ton of work, he's a long ball threat. First personal foul. The first free throw is good. At the line for your Trailblazers, Henderson. Both free throws good from Henderson. Nine seconds left in the third. Hayward from outside. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. A, a tough cover out there. You want to close out hard on Hayward, but you also have to respect his ability to take you off the bounce. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. And now a sneak peek into the huddle. Don't stop the aggression. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. On the floor for San Antonio starting the fourth quarter, 
Fournier out there with Josh Richardson. And it's Hayward. Then it's Collins. And it's Porter. And at the three, the small forward. Uh, a wing who can elevate, get Grant the ball anywhere close to the rim, and he knows what to do with it. Trailblazers trail by 20. Pass to Thibel. Anderson with it. Defended now by Fournier. And Holiday kicks to Anderson. Down low. Porter with the steal. It's Fournier on the wing. No good from outside. The Blazers on offense. Eibel on the wing. Guarded by Porter. Grant gets a wide open look. And the three ball is good. And what takes Grant's game to the next level? It's consistency with that jumper. Uh, it's a nice play there to get him something in rhythm. Well, after an uneven first half, he's managed to right the ship and get things going. Right wing. Releases from 15. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. You know, Greg Anthony, people talk about Jeremy Grant as a scorer. But what about his passing? Significantly better moving the ball along. He's leaving no stone unturned as he looks to maximize his abilities. Andre Ayton's checked in for the Trailblazers. Collins against Ayton. Shot by Collins, no good. Trailblazers trail by 19. Anderson with it. Over Richardson. And that one hits back iron. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking tough shots just won't do it. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. To the paint. And Aiton the bucket on the assist by Henderson. Aiton's got 10 points here in the second half. As a player, a rough first half, look, it can wake you up. Sometimes it leads to much improved play in the second half. Richardson for three, and again, it's the Spurs from deep. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. <laughs> Fourth quarter, of about two and a half minutes through it right now. Henderson passes to Thibel. And Porter comes to help. Over to the wing, to the inside. Henderson, and he lays it straight in. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Richardson against Henderson. Porter in the corner. Off target with his three. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Here's Henderson. Yes, that goes in. Henderson's got four points this quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Richardson with it, and Holiday picks him up defensively. Trailblazers follow Drew Holiday. Second personal foul. He misses the free throw. And Portland making a change here. Simons is checked in. He's off on the second. Trailblazers trail by 18. Thibel kicks to Holiday. Puts up a three. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got six rebounds in the game. Collins trying to break free. And it's Portland with the rebound. Left side, Grant. And the rejection by Collins. And it's out of bounds. The Trailblazers able to retain possession here. Here's Holiday inside, and Aiton throws it down. <laughs> Holiday against Richardson. Here he goes. Rebounded by DeAndre Aiton. Aiton's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Bible. No good there. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. Collins looking around. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. 
Richardson against Grant. Six to shoot. Kept alive. Fournier pass to Richardson. Misses off the right iron. Trailblazers trail by 16. Eibel with the ball. Defended now by Fournier. Simons kicks to Holliday. He dishes it to Ayton. Foul call. Looked like the D didn't get there in time. And he'll shoot free throw. That's on Evan Fournier. And you just have to be enticed by the skill set of Ayton. A seven foot one behemoth who plays with a lot of physicality and skill on both ends. By the looks of it, the Hall of Fame class of 2023, Richard, should be loaded. A lot of big names could be headed to Springfield, Massachusetts. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful to see two of the biggest rivalries, San Antonio and Dallas. Tony Parker and Dirk Nowitzki are on the ballot. And then there's Mr. Wade, Dwayne Wade. We know about that. So there's going to be a lot of rings walking into that ceremony. A lot of rings indeed. Spurs leading by 12. Here's Richardson, and it's Richardson slamming it down. And dropping the sledgehammer there. He curbs a 10-0 run by Portland. And the foul on Josh Richardson. That's foul number two for him. Trailblazers making a switch here. Henderson's checked in. Portland's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Pass to Thibel. Richardson with the double team. And stolen by Richardson. Driving in, and it's Richardson slamming it down. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. We know mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. Collins against Henderson. Richardson the pass to Collins. And finished off by Collins. This is as easy as it gets for Collins. Once he establishes position, the defense is toast. And again with the rebound. He holds in his 20th rebound. Dominating the glass. They cashed in on a lot of second chance opportunities here in the second half. That extra effort will help them cut into this deficit. Richardson kicks to Fournier. Pass to Hayward. He's looking for Richardson and finds him. The first one falls. And Richardson drops them both. Here's Henderson. To the middle. Here's Ayton. And Ayton throws it down. And the all-around offensive game. Aiden has it is just fantastic capable of scoring in many different ways nothing is going his way in this half offensively really having a hard time finding his shot Collins with some nice D Spurs leading by 15 and foul on the shot so he'll get a chance at the line first one falls for Derek Rose has checked in for the Spurs Shooting. And Richardson drops them both. 149 left in the fourth. Henderson with it. And it's Richardson picking him up. Grant for three. Wow. Came this close to a four-point point. Well, head to the line for three free throws. Personal foul. That one on Rose. And he can't get the first one. At the line for your trailblazers. That one misses. At the line for three. And he misses all three. San Antonio's <laughs> gone two and five on 25 million. Shot since the end of the third quarter. A shot by Hayward, wide open, off target from three point range. Fourth personal foul. Fifteen foul. And that one falls for Henderson. San Antonio making a switch here. Hart's checked in. That one misses, so he goes one for two. He needed to convert on all of those. Missed opportunities at the line are the last thing they need right now. Back to Richardson. And it's Clark in the corner. Six on the shot clock. With the fadeaway. And that one drops for him. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win 
for the Spurs. Their inside game was what secured them the win tonight. They had their way in the paint, and those are all high percentage shots, but the defense couldn't stop them from getting down low. And on the year now, tonight's impending victory will push their win total to 47. And once they polish off this win, they'll be one more victory away from sweeping the season series. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Brandon Ingram. And let's just say this, the name of the game is scoring, and yes, he provided that tonight. You're welcome. Marie finds Aiton, and Aiton throws it down. And it's the way Aiton uses his body inside. It's what allows him to get so close to the basket. And the rejection by Aiton. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. From outside the arc, they get it back to the left side wing. In the corner, Henderson with it. Buries the long-range jumper. Rate of baskets assisted. It's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second personal foul. First free throw is good. Team foul. At the line for the Second free throw, no good. Now Henderson. I said over. And so it's San Antonio. He's taking this one. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd. We'll dedicate that win to Damian Lillard. <laughs> Good luck in Milwaukee. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge. Maybe you can finally be on the team that wants to win. Thanks, guys. Gordon, nice win for you guys tonight. What was the difference? Energy. I think we play with a lot of energy, passion, especially defensively. You know, when we're all doing our job and we're playing and we're focused and we're solid defensively, we're not really having lapses. We can be a pretty good team. You know, that we don't have to walk the ball up the court and it's not as difficult on our offense. So it all starts defensively and I think it all starts with energy down there. You've become one of the best young defensive teams in the league, Gordon. Thanks very much. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Good game by Eaton. I can see him having good, some good games there. Maybe getting Barrett's or things, but man, it's, just, it's like watching Cousins on the Kings for 10 years, you know? Like, if that's the way he wants his career to go, he's only 25, so it's like, come on, man. I don't know. I don't know. Jeremy Grant. I just don't know what to think of them. <laughs> Hopefully Drew Holiday goes somewhere else. And Josh with the cool 20. Negative one. All right, easy win. Rest our guys. All I can say about this one. Next one is the Lakers. Should be a good game. Probably have all our guys for that. Oh, thanks to me.